This is quick tip number two, and it's all about you and finding a cause. Now you might be saying, I'm really excited what's taking you so long to get this tip out and I'll show you some bonus material at the end for what we've been doing here at our house. But now let's get to that quick tip. And that tip is declutter for a cause. Now I've had some fun causes over the years, things that have really motivated me to just get rid of stuff. One was I was decluttering my kitchen and I had a friend pass away. She was 92, or I think it was the birthday. Then I think it was the night before she turned 92. Anyway, and she loved this certain thrift store. In her obituary, she actually said she would love it if people donated to this thrift store. And so I had all these things that I had just decluttered and I decided I'm just gonna donate this to the thrift store that she requested. It was kind of like in her honor. That's a cause. Today I'm gonna show you another cause that I've been gathering stuff for. And here's a word of caution though. Only gather stuff for one cause at a time. Because it really has been driving me crazy to hold on to these things while I do this video. Because I have like two causes in my head right now. <laughs> and I couldn't I couldn't get them either one of them done in time, so pick one cause, stick to it until it's done, and get it out, and then move on to your next cause. So the cause that I'm working on gathering stuff for is for teachers. When you have a cause, you're much more likely to sacrifice a little bit more and look at your things a little bit more squinty-eyed and say, do I really need this? Or even say, do they really want this? And if they don't really want it, why am I holding on to it? So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I found that I can donate to the schools. Got some flashcards. These are magnets, really fun to play with. Did I mention I used to homeschool? Got a bag full of crayons and colored pencils. Here's some of the other stuff that I've collected. seem like a whole lot. I'm not changing the world or the school system by donating these items, but it is going to make a difference for my household and for maybe a couple of teachers or their office. They know people who could use it. I'm not going to be able to get through that many pens before they all go bad. The next cause that I'm working towards will be the middle school has asked for games and I've got some games I'm looking at donating. So excited. So here are some main things that I've learned from donating to a cause. One, pick one cause at a time. Grab all those things as quickly as you can and donate them as quickly as you can. Get them out of your house. And then if you have a second cause, do that one. This isn't exactly what you wanna do if you're trying to get rid of lots of stuff all at once. This is a little bit more tedious. This is more of an emotional push from when you're kind of feeling a little stuck. And now here's that bonus material at the end. We did a little bit Marie Kondo on our toys and books, stuffed animals. It took a whole week. It was a little crazy. We staged everything in our garage. Hope you enjoy.
just a public service announcement. If you're old enough to be watching these videos, you should go to the dermatologist and get your skin checked. I had a little precancerous stuff on my nose. I didn't even realize it was a problem. But one blast of liquid nitrogen and it's not going to come back. It's cancer. Awesome. So, if you haven't already, make an appointment with your dermatologist. Maybe even by the end of the year if you've already met your deductible, right? Right? Right.